All right, yo, what's going on guys? It's boy Mayflower, and as always, hope all you guys are having a great day. Um, in this video, we're gonna try to lay down a track in the style of Sudden Death that uh, sounds something like this. <laughs> All right, I put a little clip at the beginning. A lot of you guys asked for that. I don't know why, but there you go. Um, I've tried a lot of techniques to get some of his uh, sound design, I guess, and uh, I think I figured out a couple cool things here and there. Um, so I'm just gonna try to show you guys a real easy way to kind of kind of get near this sound. Um, I got the Red Rocks merch from his show. Yeah. I was there. It was fun. I don't. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know how I'm doing that. Um, I've seen him live many times here in uh, Colorado, and uh, his shows are always super inspirational, even though it has nothing to do with the the type of music I make. But uh, yeah, it's just it's just fun to you know mess around. All right, so that is the idea for today. We're gonna try to lay down a track in the style of Sudden Death. Um, yeah, should be fun. So uh, let's jump right into it. Let's go. All right, so to start out, obviously we're gonna be somewhere between 140 and 150. Um, I just chose 140 because I like it. And yeah, let's just try to make like a basic little drum loop. Um, I think everyone knows how to do this. Um, I've been using this Leo Tricks pack a lot. There's a lot of good um, kicks and claps in there. So I'm just gonna kind of roll with this, see how it sounds, maybe layer it up as well. Um, there's kind of like two sudden death style drums you can go for. You can go for those super um, kind of like boomy and I don't kind of like acoustic drums like you hear in like Behemoth or something like that. Or you can go with like the classic uh, rhythm drums, which he uses a lot as well. Um, so that's kind of the style I'm going to go for here. Just kind of uh, easier to follow. So uh, yeah, let's roll with it. Maybe some of these in the B section. Maybe that sounds good. Um, I usually like to start out with like a melody or something, but I think something like this, um, we can kind of attack the drums and then get some type of cool sound design going. And um, yeah, that should, you know, land us in a good spot. That's kind of cool. Maybe we can like stick that in the background for the intro. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, this framing's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just trying to build some like atmosphere for the intro. Um, I pulled like a little ambient sound from YouTube. Kind of sounds kind of spooky. All right, so now we're just gonna hop into kind of like the uh, the thesis of this video, um, kind of the, the thing that maybe want to make this video in the first place. Um, and that is the FL Studio stock plugin, uh, the Granulizer, which is a really cool uh, plugin if you've never used it. Um, it's free, it's stock. If you have FL Studio, um, yeah, you probably have this. So uh, Let's see what we can do with it. Um, but yeah, when you open up the granulizer, we have these top four knobs, which are gonna be um, the main things we use. Um, I never ever in my life have used these effects knobs. I really don't even know what they do. So we're just gonna leave these alone and focus on these top four, which are attack, hold, uh, grain spacing, and wave spacing. So if you're one of the few people that has one of my packs from back in the day, um, there are a lot of sudden death and void style uh, bases in there that I made using the granulizer like these. <laughs> Um, and if I remember correctly, I made all those from scratch um, and just loaded them into the granulizer and just made some type of cool base. But for today, we're not going to start from scratch, which is a little curse. But I just want to show you guys um, like a cool way you can kind of get these bass sounds if you're just starting out. Um, but I'm just going to start off with a little bass from Splice just to show you guys how, uh, how far you can go with this granulizer. So let's just try to find something cool. <laughs> I think that one will work. It kind of sounds a little OG. Uh, actually, it says OG in the title. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna drag this straight into the granulizer on the load to sample screen, and boom, we got it right there. Um, so if we play middle C and the granulizer, it's just gonna spit out exactly what the sample. Um, but the magic of the granulizer either comes from going way up and straying from middle C or going way down. Um, and already without even changing anything, it's starting to sound kind of cool. And the reason it sounds cool is because when you go up an octave or down an octave, it's not literally pitching it. It's kind of uh, stretching and morphing and it just gives it that, uh, I don't know, it's just a really cool sound that you can experiment with. So I think A is a good note to go down to. I don't know what note that actually makes it, but we'll, uh, we'll figure that out later. Um, and yeah, this is kind of where the fun begins. I'm just going to start messing with these four knobs and you'll see what kind of uh, sounds we can get. That 
some of these are off grid. I'm just doing that to give it a little swing. And uh, yeah, let's keep messing with it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's see what that sounds like with context, even though we have no sub. Um, actually, let's throw in a sub right now too. This is a little one shot. Um, so I think maybe we can mess with the pitch for some cool effects. Let me burn. That's it's pretty fitting for this, I would say. It sounds cool. Let's uh, chop it up. <laughs> um, all right, this isn't that bad. It's kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm just doing some shaping on this to control it a little bit better. It's kind of messy. Um, also, if you're on FL Studio, um, you could try, you know, putting some cool effects on your bass as well. Um, Frequency Shifter always works really good. Um, Destructor is cool too. Um, so yeah, let's give uh, let's give those a try. So I'm just kind of beefing up this drum loop right now, and I have this scary voice sample, which I used for the little drop that you saw earlier. And um, I'm just going to kind of chop up a little bit of this laugh right here. And um, I think we could stick that in the background. Um, so you can see that laugh right here, and it just um, it sits kind of nice, and it fits really well with the bass, so you can hear that here. <laughs> So I think I'm only going to do a couple more things, and earlier I did mention Destructor, I think. Um, there's some really cool uh, presets to give you that kind of like metallic -y sound. Um, so yeah, this is turning on right here, and yeah, you could hear what that sounds like. Um, and of course we need some screams in there. Uh, I cannot scream, unfortunately. Uh, so we're just going to use this Lorna Shore acapella. So, uh, Shout out Lorna Shore, probably probably one of my favorite bands, right? I like that one. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's probably all I have time to show you guys. Um, I just wanted to uh, kind of experiment around with the granulizer and show you guys some of the possibilities with it. I mean, try it out. Maybe you can get some cool sudden death sounds yourself. Uh, let me know how it works out. <laughs> um, but I think it's enough talking. I am just going to play the track so we can all hear what we made today. Um, hopefully it's cool. All right, so let's give this bad boy a listen and three... Thank you guys for watching if you made it to the end hope you guys enjoyed the video and or learned something i don't know um that was pretty fun even if you don't make you know heavy music i would suggest you know uh trying something sometime just uh i don't know it's, it's fun you can learn something and uh it kind of gives you a break from what you normally do and uh yeah, it's just, it's just cool to experiment with stuff. So if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down below in the comments or leave a suggestion for something you want to see on the channel and I will, uh, I'll try to get around to it. I do, I do read all the comments. So, uh, yeah, say, uh, say whatever you want. Say hello. Um, and I will say hello back because you guys are, are super cool. Um, also, if you want to keep up with any of my releases, um, I'll put all my socials down there. Follow your boy on Instagram if you can. That would be nice. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.